uh, Teton National Park along the Snake River in a pretty lush spot. And right here we have uh, one of the flowering plants that's all around us here is Northern Bedstraw, Gallium boreali. And I thought I'd ask you, Grant, what you think you remember about this plant. This plant, uh, we call it Majijira, uh, meaning infections. My people use this for infections and sores. And, and uh, I think they tried it for smallpox. It helped when they had the smallpox. Uh, so this is what we use it for. It grows extensively along the Yellowstone and uh, I probably along the Snake River also. When the Snake River is called Shigura, Ashigura. So maybe that's, the, they, they sound about the same, this plant and also the river. That's interesting because uh, this plant is used in herbal medicine for about the same uses it's used to uh, treat sores, oozing sores, and especially sores due to allergies to fungus spores. So in Scotland it's also used, uh, same plant grows, and it's used to treat lichenosis, which is an allergic reaction to lichen spores, which are fungal, and it usually causes oozing sores on the skin and the uh, sap is squeezed out onto the skin and rubbed on and it it's the only effective thing in treating lichenosis which is called sun bumps in this country. I remember they used this to make people sleepy. You know you would put the flowers close to the close to where you're sleeping and it's and it helps you sleep. It's got a pleasant smell to it. You know another thing that people have suggested is that this can be used as a substitute for coffee oh. because it doesn't have caffeine but it tastes yeah, like sweet. the seeds oh. if they're roasted and then boiled taste a bit like coffee oh. and it's in the same family as coffee ruby ac